Hey there, second grade, how's everybody doing today? And welcome back to another remote learning math lesson with Mr. Enzi. And today I am joined by Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda is made out of 1,073 Lego pieces. And he looks great on my shelf at home. He is going to learn some math with us today. So before we get started, you are going to need your sheet protector, your dry erase marker, and you are going to want to find your double 10 frame. It says it at the top, double 10 frame. And it is found in your Math Mat resource pack. And then you're going to put that right there inside your sheet protector so that we can do some practice today as we take a look at some addition strategies. So while you're finding your sheet protector and that double 10 frame, I'm going to shrink myself into the corner. Today, we are going to be doing Grade 2, Lesson 3.1, Using Addition Strategies. And we will be doing together Math Journal, page 45. And you will need your double 10 frame math mat and your sheet protector. And we're going to start today's lesson doing a little warm-up that is going to involve some quick look cards. Now a quick look card is going to show you a double 10 frame filled with some dots. And you are going to have to tell me how many dots there are. But it's going to be very, very quick. Because in second grade, you shouldn't need to count every single dot. You should be able to use some strategies, some addition strategies, where you can tell how many dots there are in all. So let's go ahead and look at our first card. Now our first card is going to appear for two seconds. That means it's going to show and then it's going to turn back over. My question to you is how many dots do you see? Eyes ready. Mm. That was a tough one. Picture your mind and what you saw. How many dots did you see? All right, all guesses are in. I'm going to turn that card over. And if you notice, I like to take a look. And here's how I solved this problem. I found five plus five more. And I know that five plus five equals 10. But there's still one more left. So how many dots are there in all? 11. Who guessed 11 dots? That is an amazing job. All right, here's our next one. All right, eyes ready. You're going to have two seconds to find out how many dots there are. Wow, that was quick. I think I have it, though. I'm going to turn over that card. Let's see if you were correct. Here's how I solved it. I noticed that I had four dots on this 10 frame and four dots on this 10 frame. And that's a doubles fact. Four plus four is eight. And then there's one more. Four plus the one more gives us nine dots. How many got nine? Awesome job. Here is our last card. I'm going to go ahead and erase. And our last card. So get ready. Eyes ready. And here's the 
here it comes for two seconds. Wow, the toughest one yet. I'm going to turn it over again, give you another quick look. How many dots are there? All right, all guesses are in. Let's see. Here's how I solve this one. I saw that I have six dots here and six dots here. And six plus six is 12. But there's one dot here and another one here. Two more dots. How many dots in all? 14 dots. Now, you may have done that differently. I know some of you are ready to tell me that you knew that both 10 frames were exactly the same. And what you did was, you noticed that if there are seven dots here, and seven dots here, seven plus seven is also 14. Notice we got the same answer, even though we counted different ways. Awesome job. All right, second grade, we are gonna be moving into our math journal. Now, you don't really need it, if you want to get it, you can. We're going to be on page 45. But again, you don't really need it, especially if you have your sheet protector and double 10 frame. So here we go. Our journal page, page 45, gives us a title, Making 10 on a Double 10 Frame. Wow. We want to make 10. Let's see. I'm going to go to number one. Number one says to figure out how many dots there are on the double 10 frame without counting them one by one. Well, here is the double 10 frame. You can see it on the screen. I want you to go ahead and copy the dots that you see onto your sheet protector and place them in the correct spot on your double 10 frame. Go ahead and hit the pause button while you finish doing that. How many dots do you see? Did you notice that there were six dots here and four dots here? That's a good start if you did. Did you also notice that these four dots can move into these four boxes? And now, all of a sudden, I have a 10 frame that is all filled. Six dots plus the four more dots that I can move would give me 10 dots. Let's see if that's true on our sheet protector. Take those four dots and move them to fill up your other 10 frames. And let's see if we make 10 dots. Did it work? It sure did. Now, another big part is that we have to be able to explain what we did. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type down a response. You might want to write down this response in your journal if you have it. Remember that you can always hit the pause button to finish copying it down. How did we solve this double 10 frame? Well, I know I 
always like to start with I know. I know that a 10 frame can fit 10 dots. I already have six dots. If I move the four dots into the other 10 frame, I have six plus four equals 10. So I know that there are 10 dots. That's a good math answer. I started with what I know, and then I even put a number model. Always a good thing to include when you explain your math work. If you wish to copy that down in your math journal, now's a good time to hit the pause button and finish copying that down, because that's a good math explanation explaining how we solved this problem. All right, second grade, today you are going to be doing an open response problem. A math open response means that there's lots of ways to solve and answer a math problem. You saw in our double 10 frames how you could solve those problems and count up those dots many different ways. Remember that when you solve an open response, you're scored four different ways. If you score a zero, that means you did not try to solve the problem. You can see the sad face. Very rarely do second grade mathematicians not try to solve a wonderful math problem. You score a one if you tried to solve the problem, but you did it incorrectly. You can score a two if most of your answer is correct but your explanation is hard to follow. So you saw our explanation in our journal. If you just wrote the answer, 10 dots, you didn't explain anything. So you would have gotten the answer right, but you had no explanation. So you would have scored a two. But here's how you score a three. Your answer is correct. And your explanation is awesome. So let me go over today's open response. Today, you're gonna to be using the making 10 strategy. You're gonna to wanna to try and fill up a 10 frame. Make 10. Figure out how many dots there are on the double 10 frame below without counting one by one. So second graders don't wanna sit there and count every single dot. We should be able to do it a lot quicker in second grade. Now, in your seesaw activity, you can drag the dots to help you. So you'll be able to use the little finger tool and you'll be able to move those dots around to make 10. Number of dots is where you'll write your answer and then you will explain using words how you found the number of dots on the double 10 frame. And I'll tell you, bonus points if you even can put the number model down because that would be a mathematician who has given us a really good explanation. So you see the double 10 frames here, but you will also see it on your seesaw activity. All right, second grade, go ahead and get started on today's open response math problem. Make sure you give a really good explanation. Go ahead and get started. Can't wait to see how smart you all are.